here is a thymus gland. The thymus gland is the classical mother of all T lymphocytes. It is a very large organ in newborns, uh, sometimes looking about as big as a lung or a heart in the chest. In the adult, however, it is usually just a piece of atrophied fat right underneath the sternum, which is often missed and is mistaken for a small piece of fat. And often it is really not identified grossly or microscopically at all because in older people, it involutes. The thymus has characteristic features, which I would like to point out here. Like most organs, the uh, band of connective tissue, which generally surrounds it, can be called the capsule. Uh, it looks like the capsule is actually missing here, probably on the basis of a histologic phenomenon. But it generally is a loose to uh, denser fibrous connective tissue covering covering all of these lymphoid areas. The uh, lymphoid areas have several distinct names. The darker lymphocytes at the periphery of these uh, areas, which is 100% in this field, maybe 50% in this field, is called the cortex. Cortex are 100% T lymphocytes or thymocytes. The inside of these follicles or nodules, if you would like to call them that, are lighter cells, which are also predominantly, mainly 90%, 99% T lymphocytes as well. They're just not as densely arranged as the T lymphocytes or thymocytes in the cortex. In addition, however, you will see in the medulla, which is the lighter lymphoid area, cells with larger, more vesicular nuclei, like here, oh, perhaps here, um, definitely or probably here, probably here. These are reticular cells. These are the cells that make the reticulin fibers. In the medulla, sometimes reticular cells coalesce to form these pearl or epithelial looking structures, which are called Hassel's corpuscles. Hassel's corpuscles are little epithelial looking structures, which when you see in a lighter area of a lymphoid follicle, you know that it's a thymus and not a, uh, a lymph node or some other type of lymphoid structure. Last but not least, uh, if we back up and look at the overall picture again, you can see that there are these fibrous bands that extend in these nodules. Here's one, here's one, here's one. These are simply called trabeculae. So I think we, were, we have uh, mentioned all of the salient features of the uh, thymus, the darker cortex composed of 100% thymocytes, the lighter medulla, composed of predominantly T lymphocytes, but individual reticular cells, which sometimes fuse to form these Hassel, Hassel's corpuscles, like you see here in here. The trabeculae, uh, the uh, fibrous uh, connective tissue separating the uh, nodules, and last but not least, the overall fibrous capsule, which we see along here. And I thank you very much.